Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly use the uh, application designer application to modify our screen. So let's say uh, if we have a an application like the asset application. And if we want to add one field into this screen, for example, we want to add one more field down here. Uh, then we can do that by using the application designers uh, uh, application. So what we can do is let's go to the system configuration and platform configuration menu here and open the application designer application. So uh, for this uh, tutorial series, then I expect you have access to a maximal uh, environment and uh, have uh, the uh, max admin account. Uh, before uh, we can do the tutorial. So in this case, uh, let's uh, open it Okay, so now we can open the asset application by entering a search here to find for the asset application and then we can click on it So it will open the layout screen of the asset application here Basically, uh, the design application, uh, ZOI design, is uh, stored in XML format. So we can, uh, using drag and drop uh, graphical uh, interface to uh, modify the screen here. Uh, but uh, some of the tasks that we need to do cannot be done using this uh, drag and drop screen, but we will have to modify XML so code so we can do that by using the application export and import functionality that we can see here so if we click on export here then we can export the source code of the application and then we can make modification uh, for this file we can save it to a file And then after we make the change to the file, then we can import it back using the import function here. So uh, that's uh, how we modify uh, application in Maximo. So now I'm going to do a very simple task of adding one field into the main screen of the asset application. So that's what I'm going to do now. So up here, we have a, a few menu. Uh, the first one is a control palette which have a list of control that we can drag and drop into a, a screen so uh, let's do that by adding a text box down here so uh, we have a text box here so we can rearrange the layout by dragging a different control on top of it so that control will be placed above that uh, control so Let's say uh, if we want to flex this field uh, between these two fields, then I can drag this field on top of the type field and then it will be bring in between the two fields. So now let's say we have a drag our text control here. Now we have to bind it with a database field uh, within Maximo. So uh, that's what we gonna do next. So let's say we going to add the same field as the type field here so uh, what we can do is uh, this field is associated with uh, an existing attribute in the table so we can uh, right click on this field and choose properties or we can use the menu properties up here yes click on here and then we will open the same dialog so I prefer to use by uh, open it by right click here and choose properties and then we can write down the uh, attribute or the column of the table that we're referring to. So in this case, I'm going to put it an asset type or I can click on this uh, select menu here and I choose the asset object which is the main object of this application. And then from here, I can select a list of values or list of columns that I want, I can display for this field. So if we click on count number, then it will show a calendar number, for example. So let's go back and type in this field. 
and uh, that's it and then we can link the front end uh, text box with a column in our ad set table and then we can click on save and now uh, the chain will take effect immediately so now if we go back and open the ad set application then we will see that it has a new field here and now because we have uh, this field uh, using binding to the same column as this field so if we select data here you can see that it will display here as well so that's how we add one field to a screen in Maximo.